Okay guys, what we got here is an old US revolver top brake 38 Smith & Wesson. Um, I haven't dated it yet, I'm not sure of the date on it, but it's a pretty old one. Um, probably somewhere around 1900 I would say, but uh, you can see it's the, the nickel finish is pretty rough on it. And uh, if you look at the cylinder, it's it's kind of flaking. I think this one, I may just sandblast this down and polish it out and blew it. Um, these old guns don't hold a lot of value anyway, and it's really not going to, you know, um, hold on to any extra value by by being in original condition and. Uh, I just think it's nice to restore these old guns so they'll be around a lot longer for future generations to enjoy. So I'm going to start by tearing it apart and then uh, we'll run it through the Sonic Cleaner. We'll start with the grips here. The grips on this one are in nice shape. I don't see any cracks or chips. Usually the bottoms are chipped out of them. I don't know if that's from somebody hammering with them or what. but. This one looks pretty good. I would have changed bits. A lot of times you put these together you need a little Loctite on these because they seem to loosen up with use. And you don't want to lose this thing. And you notice there's a little spring inside of there too. Make sure that doesn't come out when we run it through the sonic cleaner. The way that goes in is just like this. This little piece here has to work up into this barrel here, and that's what uh, works your extractor. This one here has there's a little screw right here that holds the trigger guard in. And that keeps spring pressure on. There's a little spring right underneath this trigger guard here for your uh, trigger return. Like that, and 
you see it's got the hole in it there for the screw that locks the trigger guard on. that this doesn't go flying apart when you pull it out. See this here is your hand. This is what protrudes through this slot right here and when you pull the trigger that hand pushes on this right here on each one of these little notches and rotates the cylinder. And it's got to have that spring on there for some spring pressure or it won't work. So if you get one that's not rotating, a lot of times that spring's either missing or broke. And uh, we'll cover putting that back together when we put it back together. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and get all this in the Sonic Cleaner. And see how she cleans up. Okay guys, I've got this old... US Revolver uh, top brake 38 finished up and back together uh, I think I mentioned I was considering sandblasting it because of the nickel flaking on it but after I ran it through the sonic cleaner and then uh, carted it off with my carting wheel it, it turned out pretty decent so I didn't I didn't I decided I wasn't gonna go that far with it so but what I did do is I re-blued the hammer and the trigger and the trigger guard. Uh, those were blued anyway. And the trigger guard had quite a bit of pitting on it uh, around here. So I sanded that down uh, real good um, and then uh, got, got most all the pits out of it and then polished it up nice before I blued it. And it turned out pretty good. It uh, seems to function well in double action. It also holds in single action. Um, the only issue I ran into was when I was carting it, I had this all apart, and when I was running through the carting wheel, uh, the little spring inside of here flew out and broke. So I've got an order, order a spring for this. That's why uh, the extractor's not working. Um, but, but turned out pretty nice um, if you got any questions or comments leave them below um, I would sure appreciate it if, uh, if you got anything at all out of this video that you'd hit that like button and subscribe thank you